Hey guys, it's Puff. Welcome back to my vlog. I am coming off of that great show performance at the Atlanta Pro and now I'm going to try to build on that at the Tampa Pro. There's three weeks total in between shows. It's a few days since I just performed in Atlanta and we are getting back to work. Today is a low carb day and I wanna show you guys what that looks like as far as my meals go. I can talk a little bit more about my game plan for Tampa later. I'm super hungry. <laughs> Just got back from the gym doing my first round of fasted cardio, did 45 minutes on the Stairmaster. So I wanna get my first meal in me now. It's 8 a.m. and I'm gonna show you guys how I make these make-believe pancakes for my first meal. I just got one of these nifty pancake pans off Amazon I'm loving using with the little slot. It makes it much easier. I want to get my pan nice and hot. I'm going to spray some cooking oil. I'm using this avocado oil spray. This has no calories. Now I'm going to weigh out my oats. This is the only meal today that I'll get carbs at that is not vegetables. So this is definitely my favorite. I'm going to combine oats and egg whites to make these pancakes. 40 grams of oats. I'm gonna throw them in the blender just to grind them up real quick. Now I'm gonna add egg whites, 150 grams of egg whites. Now I'm adding just a little bit of cinnamon and a little bit of vanilla to make it tasty. Put it back in the blender. Now I got my batter ready. Just pour it in like it's pancake mix. It's either this or eat a bunch of egg whites and an egg and plain oats with water. And I think this is way better. It's in my plan to have one whole egg too. So I'm gonna fry that in a different pan and put it on top. We have chickens, so these are our farm fresh eggs. Pretty cool, we have a olive egger chicken. So we get some green eggs in addition to the regular ones. I'm just gonna put it on top and let that bust open. <laughs> and get the yolk all over my pancakes. Top it with a little bit of this sugar-free syrup. Bam. Fake pancakes. I'm gonna eat this first meal with a little bit of coffee and then go put my heels on and practice some posing. My total macros for today are gonna be, I think it's like 28 on fat, 25 on carbs, this is my only carbs, and then 175 on protein. So my energy is gonna be pretty low today. I'm gonna try to film every meal to show you guys what this looks like. And we're gonna hit some, I think back is next for my training. It's gonna be a great day. Ready to get better, try to bring a little bit tighter physique to Tampa, and I'm just, fired up after leaving that Atlanta show. So I'm very motivated. Even though this dieting is super hard, I can do it. It's not like the best thing you've ever eaten, but plain oats and water tastes like cardboard. So it's better than that. What are you having? Pancakes. Real pancakes. So the next up for me is gonna be Tampa Pro which is the first weekend of August. I've got three weeks in between Atlanta and Tampa. Uh, the goal here is to try to make it to the Olympia. I know it might not happen for me this year. This is my first pro season, but I am gonna try everything I can to try to qualify. Finishing in sixth at Atlanta was super exciting, placing for the first time, mm -hmm. showing a big improvement. And the feedback that I got was even more conditioning will help me place higher. So, that's the goal for Tampa, to come in a little bit leaner, a little bit more conditioned. I'm gonna make some tweaks to my fitness routine. I actually have changed the music a little bit and I didn't perform my posing routine to my best ability, so keep refining posing. So there's several areas I can try to eke out a little bit better in and see if I can place a little bit higher in Tampa. Might be the last try for my Olympia spot or we might do one more a little bit later this year. The Olympia is in November, so you have until then to qualify. And like I said, the only way to get there is to win a pro show. So we're going to give it hell, see what I can do in Tampa. I'm excited. I'm actually training shoulders today. This week is super weird with the show being on Sunday, so my days are totally mixed up. We're going to hit shoulders today. About to make up my pre-workout. We have a new flavor of pounds. 
This is Jolly Green Apple. Tastes just like a green Jolly Rancher. Super yummy. Same formula as the other flavors that everybody loves. Scoop of creatine. I'm gonna use this this week only. Like I said, I have three weeks between shows and I really sodium depleted for Atlanta and also dehydrated. So this week I'm like holding a lot of water, like resetting. So really I have like this week to kind of recover, next week to really push to get a little bit better conditioning and then the peak week. So right now we're just like getting back to normal, pushing hard and then peaking again for Tampa. Green Jolly Rancher is so good. If you wanna try out one of my products and haven't done so yet, new customers can use this code right here for 15% off your first purchase. Check out my Pounce pre-workout. You will not be disappointed. Go read the reviews, the flavors are amazing. Okay, here's meal number two. This is what I'm having before training. Filet mignon steak and a bunch of green beans. I'm about to load it up with some salt. We're trying to reset my sodium levels so that when we deplete again, I get a response from that. This is definitely not exciting, but getting fats from the steak and at least the steak tastes really yummy. I'm already feeling depleted from the low carb day after just doing a bunch of posing. Posing is surprisingly hard. It's like a mini workout. So today's gonna be rough, I can tell, but some pre-workout will help this training session. Snake truck. Just got back home from training, was really losing steam at the end of the workout, but still got in a good shoulder and tricep day. Now we're having some treats. Scarlett's having some donuts. And I'm gonna have me some Swiss cake rolls. I wish, but I am gonna have our new chocolate cake roll protein that's back in stock. Well, not new, it's a returning flavor. Definitely everyone's favorite, so I'm really excited this is back in stock now. It does taste just like a Swiss cake roll. It's like a smooth chocolate with a little bit of creaminess to it. And I'm just gonna be here jealous of Scarlet's Donuts, but at least have good tasting protein. So I'm gonna have a shake and then make my next meal. What's that flavor? Blueberry. Jelly, jelly, and mm, plain. And what's this one? Blueberry. Blueberry and blueberry. Yeah. What's mommy got? And plain protein. <laughs> On to meal three now, as soon as I got done with my shake. This is four ounces of chicken and a big handful of green beans. I eat very few vegetables. Basically green beans is all I can work with right now. So a lot of my meals look exactly the same, all green beans. But I am gonna put some of this takeout sauce on it. These flavor game sauces are so good and they have no calories in them. These make a boring meal really tasty. This is my first of three chicken meals in a row. <laughs> it's a busy day around here today, packing tons of orders because we had our launch for the Apple Jolly new flavor yesterday. Putting in some cute little Jolly Ranchers in the packages. Thank you guys so much for your orders. We are growing slowly but surely, so keep telling all your friends about it. I've got my meal number four now. We got chicken and green beans, same as earlier, but get a little treat with some avocado in this meal. Got a little bit of fat going, same sauce as earlier, bunch of salt. This tiny bit of fat seems like nothing, but it's very helpful. Meal three now. This is my third chicken meal in a row. Same deal again, four ounces of chicken, green beans, salt, flavoring, sauce. I'm kind of alternating between shredded chicken and like chicken from a pan cut up. We just bulk cook a whole bunch of chicken at one time and keep it in the fridge so it's really easy to reheat. 
and then we make the steak every couple days as well. So I just keep a lot of meat ready and made in the fridge to make it easy. Just finished second cardio. That one is much harder than the morning one. Did not want to do it, but we got it done. I only got 13 days left to fight. I'm not gonna look the same as I was last time on stage. I'm gonna bring something better. So that's what I was repeating to myself the whole time. And that was really hot, so yeah, we stripped after. Meal six, last meal. I am absolutely dead. I feel terrible. I feel like my eyes twitching. <laughs> Low carb is really hard for me. But um, yeah, we're surviving. Got four ounce filet mignon and green beans. It's a lot of meat. I eat every two or three hours. It's like a job to eat all of this meat, but it's working. <laughs> we just gotta keep pushing. And that's it. That's all we're eating right now. I do get a little bit more on my routine practice days, but I didn't have that today. Yeah, two more weeks. I'm gonna push as hard as I can and see what we can deliver on show day. I hope you guys liked the video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to my channel. I'm gonna keep doing more stuff like this. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.